Bro, have y'all heard about this crazy ass case? I thought Young Thug corruption was crazy, but this is Calvin Riley Sr. This man is going to trial for DUI where police opened the alcohol bottle, poured it out, put it back in his car and said that he might have had been drinking from the contents in the, of that bottle when it was sealed. Now he's about to go to trial and he has a deposition. Well, the, before trial, he has a deposition about the police. Arrested. You searched the car, is that correct? Correct. Uh, during that search, you found a bottle of alcohol. Correct. During that search, you didn't find any marijuana. No. You didn't find any joints. No. You didn't find any paraphernalia. No. You didn't find any evidence of marijuana besides the smell. Correct. Before finishing the search, you went back to that 20 gram bottle that you left on the driver's seat. Correct. That bottle was sealed before you opened it. Yes. And so you twisted the top of the bottle. Yes. And you broke the seal. Correct. You, after you opened it, you dumped out the contents. Correct. You dumped it onto the road. Correct. Then you put the top back on the bottle. Yes. Then you put the bottle back into the car. Yes. You threw it on the passenger side. Yes. Earlier you said that was just standard protocol. Correct. So you usually unseal alcohol bottles and dump them out. Typically, I don't unseal them, but it, as I was twisting, I realized it was unopened, and that was my fault. And has that always been your testimony? No. No, but previously, you said that you didn't unseal it. Correct. I didn't believe I did. But now, you know that you did unseal it. Yes, watching my body camera. Now, Officer Muth was the other officer with you, correct? Correct. You told Officer Muth about the bottle. Correct. And you told her that because she was the primary officer. Yes. Because she'd be writing the report. Correct. And you told her about the bottle because it was evidence. Correct. An open liquor bottle found inside the car within reach of the driver would be big evidence for a DUI, right? Correct. And you told Officer Muth that the bottle was open? I don't remember my exact um, phrasing, but I know that from seeing her report, she said it was opened. And she would only know that from you? Correct. So the empty bottle, that was evidence of DUI at this point, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. But the contents would really be the evidence of the DUI? Could be, correct. Mm -hmm. Without? Correct. Despite it being evidence? Correct. Where's the protocol that told you to unseal a liquor bottle and dump it out? I'm unable to impound uh, liquids. Riley's attorney gets on her, asks her like to show the protocol. She bring out like the manual that they're supposed to follow or whatever, and the lady can't find it. So fast forward, they go on the trial. Well, they're about to go to trial, but then uh, the defense drops a, a motion. Bro, I'm tripping. I got to show y'all the video. I have a quick question for you. So I smelled marijuana in your vehicle. Did no, you recently no, no, smell? No, 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 no. Once he's arrested for driving with a suspended license, they can search his car. Officer Oliver leaves the car, does a 360, and then goes back in the car, retrieving a sealed liquor bottle and pours it out. That was the sound of the seal on the liquor bottle breaking. Oliver tosses the empty bottle into the passenger seat. They don't find any marijuana in the car. Y'all saw that, right? Damn, Skippy, we saw that. But no, even with that, they about to go to trial, and the defense drops a motion. Motion last night. Do you wish to be heard on that motion this morning? All right, you may proceed. Your Honor, before we proceed with argument, the state does object to having this motion heard. Okay, and what is your objection? Well, for starters, Your Honor... All she do is say that, you know, they want five days before the trial. Well, Your Honor, the state does object to having this motion heard. Well, for starters, Your Honor... All she do is say that, you know, they want five days before, but he lets them give it, like, orally still. When I say this is serious to me because I've been to trial and I've seen how janky they are, he hears the motion. When I was watching this video, like shout out to I am not a, a lawyer, but y'all go follow her. She break it down way better than me, but I'm highlighting the corruption or just the unfairness. I don't even want to say corruption. I just couldn't imagine him denying the motion. However, we've heard so far in the previous hearings there were reasons for them to pull over the defendant. There were signs of impairment. There were admissions that were made by the defendant on body-worn camera that we can all hear. And after the defendant was placed under arrest, 
The officers found a bottle in the car, opened it, and poured it out. The parties can make whatever arguments as to the theories of the case and what they believe happened, but this is ultimately a decision that should be left to the jury. Then what is the judge for? I thought I thought he was supposed to make sure it was fair. Like, am I tripping? Bro, this is serious to me. I don't know. I'm going to keep y'all updated on this case. What y'all think?